So the question here is income and expenditure related. We know the relationship savings is nothing but equal to income minus expenses. Right. So using that A savings and B savings they are given means A income minus A expenses divided by B income minus B ex expenses. We need to write all in terms of A or B. Then we can cancel because it's about ratio. Common things should be cancelled. And in fact, in the question, they given relationship between A and B. Expenses A expenditure is equal to 60% of B income. All those is available. So let's go directly. A saving divided by B saving. A saving with respect to B savings. So A income minus A expenses. B income minus B expenses. As per the question, A income is equal to 70% of B income. Writing numerator 70% of B income. Next, A expenditure is equal to 60% of B income. They given that. Expenditure of A is 60% of B income. So I am writing this is 60% of B income. So far is it correct? They given A income is 70% of B income, we return A income as 70% of B income. In question itself, they have given expenditure of A is equal to 60% of B income, that also we mapped. Denominator B income, okay. You have to write B expenses in terms of B income. Then, okay, all are B, B, we can get cancelled and we may got the answer. Now, to do that, we have an idea, B expenditure is equal to 20% less than expenditure of A. Okay. Now, here, B expenditure or expenses is 20% less than A means 80% of A expenses. B is 80% of A expenses. Are you clear with it? Why 80? Right. And we know A expenses is 60% of B income. So write 80% means 80 divided by 100, 4 by 5. And A income a expenses is 60% of that. So you can go for 60%. Let it be in percentage or you can convert that also in fraction. This is 4 by 5. This is 5 12 times. We got 48%. B income is 48%. So B expenses is 48% of B income. I converted everything in terms of B income. Now you can see numerator 10% of B income. Denominator B income minus 48% of B income. Numerator 10% of B income, denominator 52% of B income, cancel. As you mentioned, we got option C. B, B cancel, this is 2, 5 times to 26 times. So 5 upon 26, option C is correct. You can do in a different style. My approach here, I have converted all into B income, in terms of B income. Some people will convert all in terms of A expenses. It's all up to you. I converted here all in terms of B income only. Because here A income is in terms of B income. A expenses is in terms of B income. Okay, now I'm converting all four terms in, term, in terms of B income. So with that, we got 5 out of 26. 5 is to 26.